The song Wonderful World of Harold was inspired by a picture, as a lot of songs are. Pictures tell a thousand words, as the song called If by Bread illustrates. Um, I'd like to show you the picture. Okay. I was I was sitting can you read can you read that? Okay. It says Harold knew that this would be his last chance. Um, this is Harold. It's it's a, a guy that goes to work every day and he's tired of his job so he goes on an adventure and runs into trouble and um, gets eaten essentially ultimately by this um, creature. It's a dinosaur type deal. Well, Mr. Manning or D Thomas, Thomas. Thomas. Can I call you Tommy? Yeah. Tommy? Okay. Tommy, you... Thomas. Thomas, Thomas is fine. Thomas. 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 Sorry. Thomas. You say that your picture inspired your music, but what inspired the picture? You drew... This is your work, is it not? Oh, yeah. 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 It's my work. Original composition. I drew it. Yes. So, what inspired the picture? There must have been something. Um, I... I drew a squiggle, believe it or not, and I thought it kind of looked like the mouth of a creature, and I started drawing teeth and eyes, and, I, and then eventually I drew a hand. And at first I was going to put a fork in the hand, but then I decided to put a person. Then when I went to draw the caption of what was happening in the picture, I thought of my grandfather, Harold. My grandfather's name is Harold, and he stayed at home most of his life, and invented things instead, studying books, and he was very concerned about the temperature for some reason. And I thought that this picture greatly resembled him as he would traverse around the home and go around his duties. I thought that this picture was much like the life he lived. And so I called him Harold, and then I went into my room and was thinking about, about the book. I mean, not the book, but the picture. The picture. And I thought of a song. I mean, I thought of this tune that just popped in my head, and it, and it just came. I don't know about you, but for me, a wonderful world would not be me falling in a monster's mouth. It would be me swimming in gold, or eating chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, yes. On my birthday. And on my birthday, on the weekends. That's what I think would be a wonderful world. So where where did this monster include wonderful world? It's a bit of sarcasm. Sarcasm for, for me. <laughs> um, it's his perception of his life until the incident. He was carefree, happy. He he would he would travel and he was with dinosaurs and he was you know having a good old time in his own world of books. Now this isn't the real world. This is his his world that he has created for himself in this world. Wait, the, a question. What, would this world be something like Krypton, like Superman? Oh no, no, no. no. Okay, more tropical. 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 Yes. No. Hots. No, no, not hots and flowers. More, more flowers and leaves, and waterfalls, and pretty grass, and dinosaurs. No gates. But, as you were saying before my inter interruption, I'm sorry, go ahead, about this world of his that he would go into? It, it's a world that he's created for himself in this world by his books, and it was truly wonderful. It's the wonderful world of Harold, and it was wonderful to him. It was wonderful because he thought it was. And the line glue back all the pieces because it all just fell apart is his realization. It's it's his coming to know that his world may be wonderful. It may be wonderful, tropical, leafy, no gates, but it may not be the right world for him. What well, what would you use to describe in one word this song? What it means to you? This song, in one word, is 
becoming. Becoming is the word for this song. Becoming in the sense that he is becoming a new person. He's becoming different because of this incident <clears throat> in his world that made him realize that it may not be the best choice for him. And he's becoming a new person. And this song, towards the end of the song, the end, you, hopefully, will want to become a better person. You say this song is a dance song, right? A jazzy, kind of... Groovy? No. Crowd pleaser. Crowd pleaser. Yes. yes. I guess you could say crowd pleaser. Could you hum us a few bars so I could get a feel of the danciness of it? If you're referring to the na 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 portion, this this portion was added. I don't know if it appears in the website's version, and it it's for the for the crowd to join in. Na 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 na. You know, it's it's that unification. It's it's the everybody putting their hands up in the air and and singing along with each other that unifies us. <clears throat> I don't think any song is ever perfectly done to the writer's expectation, I would say. And <clears throat> although we have perfected it beyond the point that it is now on the website, I believe that we will never truly know the 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 final ending, you know, the 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 mm, that makes it a hit, you know. The 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 glue. You you say you use glue and in such a condescending tone <clears throat> it makes me wonder glue. Is the, that is that a inside joke that I do not understand? Glue back all the pieces because it all just fell apart. I am sorry to say but it's my password for many things. <laughs> yes. Um code name it's it's kind of special to me, actually. It's a four-letter word, which doesn't mean it's bad, I hope. It's, it's the glue. I mean, gluing is a restoration. Not only a restoration, but a confirmation that it can be redone and rebuilt, even though it has crumbled, much like the song, many times. <laughs> Goo! Um, I don't think you should read into it too much. It's not that special. Is that not the nickname of your drummer? Is that correct? Yes! Glue? Yes. yes. Glue. It is. Yes. So your password is your drummer's <clears throat> nickname? Yes. And he's fine with that. He's fine. I mean, he doesn't... He doesn't know. I'm sure he'll never watch this video. Ah. Oh, I see. I see. Well then, if he doesn't know, he doesn't care. Oh. He'll never know. I'll never care. He I don't care. No, he doesn't care. He doesn't know. He doesn't care. Yes, the man in the man in green, or the the individual over there. He's our bassist. He he used to play the ukulele, but it just wasn't enough. Mm. Mm, you know, bold. It wasn't bold, and it was, you know, dink, 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 dink. it's great if you're, you know, in Hawaii or tropics. But for a band, usually the bass is the way to go. I mean, boom, boom, boom. Can you? Yes. It's full. It's big. It's boomy. It's a. It's a way to fill out a song with a low budget. Well. Is there anything, last words, last, as Copernicus said, we all die, my okay. bad. That wasn't what he said. But, how would you wrap up this song? Don't critique it to the point of exhaustion. I hope that you will appreciate the feeling, the overall message, and not the little notes. For it's the little notes that make the song, but it's the message that makes the little notes. <laughs>